All right, Caspa community, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. Appreciate you guys as always, you know, for showing tremendous amount of love. Cannot thank you enough. But now let's waste no more time and talk about what is happening. You know, we're finding ourselves once again facing a lot of red across the market. You know, we started off um, on a very positive note, but what exactly is going on? If you are a regular viewer on my channel and you have been watching my videos on a day to day basis, you know, I've been emphasizing that, you know, uh, do not be surprised, even though we're seeing quite a bit of green right now, um, you know, do not be surprised at some sort of a fake out happening. I did say that, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. And as a matter of fact, you did see Bitcoin once again tumble back down towards the downside, uh, you know, very close to the psychological price point of a 60K. So obviously, this is going to impact the broader market. Caspa is no exception. It's down about 3.5% on the daily time frame. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening right now and whether or not you should be panicking. Because, of course, all the newcomers coming on the market right now are probably like, why is the price not just going up? Uh, but before we get into it, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So looking at the price around 17.63 cents, you can see down about 3.6% as mentioned in USD comparative, down about 1% in Bitcoin comparative. Market cap currently sitting above $4.23 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is at about $60 million. So what we have seen happening is that, you know, the buying pressure has decreased quite substantially. And again, do not be surprised at that. We have seen, you know, a little bit of a dip within the market. So that is to be expected. But let's take a closer look and see what we're looking at as far as cash for price is concerned. But I want you guys to take a closer look at Bitcoin dominance. So right now, Bitcoin dominance actually has gone down. Um, but, you know, Bitcoin, on the other hand, also went down so you can see this for yourself bitcoin made its way up to sixty-three thousand eight hundred dollars we we're very close to that target that i was talking about um but what you want to be looking at is this fake out so clearly a lot of people thought here we go market is about to pump bull market this and that next leg up and just as you know boom just as people start piling up people start getting excited the party uh, is just about to start that's where the party comes to an end and you do see the whales come out and shake out all the logs that were piling up and imagine the amount of liquidation i forgot to look at the numbers but i'm sure it's not small by any means and as i've said you know when the market was going up as i've said we will see more sideways momentum i do still believe we see more boring you know sideways trading for btc before breaking towards all time highs so now that we have that out of the way but what i want you guys to be very close i did mention this in the pepe update if you did watch that if not then uh do pay very close attention to the 60k um you know uh, price point for BTC very very uh, strong level of support if we're able to lose this um, honestly do expect more downside for altcoins as well but I'm sure if you are one of the um, you know people that are on the sidelines and you know we're waiting for these types of dips I'm sure you guys are happy right now because let's face it if you're looking at it still from the monthly time frame, pretty much everything is still down quite a bit. So a lot of discount, um, you know, in the market, if you want to put it that way, because, of course, who would want to, uh, you know, not take advantage of a 50 to 60 percent drop for some of these altcoins? And yes, guys, this is in a bull market, believe it or not. Uh, but let's take a closer look and see what is happening with Caspa. So now that we have uh, kind of understood what's happening with the Bitcoin price, we have understood what's happening with the you know dominance index. You know this will give us a really better understanding as to what really is Caspa doing and how it's holding, um, you know, against the broader market. And what I want you guys to take a look at right now is how beautiful this chart is looking. So of course, again, going back to what I said. Caspa is not an exception. It's going to react to this, um, you know, move of, of Bitcoin, uh, but still in the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level, still there. And of course, um, I did um, indicate that, you know, we do have uh, people that were the insiders, the early comers profit taking is happening, believe it or not. But I'm very, very impressed the way it's holding right now, still in the 38.2 FIB zone. And just from its all time high, which was 
just about 24 hours ago, I would say, or 48 hours ago, you're only down about 11%. And before any of these trolls come out and say this or that or blah, 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 I want you guys to take a look at it. Just from June 18th, we saw Casper run up about 46.23% and just seeing a little bit of a retracement of about 11%, which is totally, totally normal. And we're still within the 23.6 Fib zone. Uh, I'm sorry, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. And we do have um, substantial support around here. So that should uh, not be coming as a surprise to any one of us right now. But, um, you know, so far are so good i'm liking what i'm seeing but with that being said let's kind of take a look at where the next support lies for cast but you know in case we do see btc tumble below 60k once again so let's kind of put it into perspective uh so you know bitcoin dropped about you could say five percent from just uh, the other day so you are seeing Caspa reacting about double, double that. Usually that is what you uh, would be looking at. Um, you know, basically what happens is when Bitcoin drops, you do tend to see altcoins dropping double the price of Bitcoin. Uh, so I'm sorry, not the price of Bitcoin, double what Bitcoin has dropped. So if Bitcoin dropped 5%, generally speaking, um, you know, altcoins would get hit harder. Um, and, you know, in a positive way, you know, way, what you want to look at it is when the market kind of turns around, you know, it's again, this is where the uh, higher risk, higher reward part comes into play. So, you know, when altcoins move up, they tend to outpace BTC as well. And this is what I want you guys to be taking a look at. But so far, so good. Really liking what I'm seeing. But let's put this into perspective. Let's say BTC were to drop back down and possibly retest the 57K once again. That's again another 5.34% to drop. And where could we see, um, you know, Caspa sitting at? So let's say another 10% pullback. So we could see Caspa making its way back down to the 61.8 Fib zone. So if you are one of the people that are still on the sidelines right now um, and that, you know, one dog cost average in, I still believe that due to the overall market condition, uh, considering this factor and how there is a chance, and I've been saying this uh, from, you know, if you do go watch my old videos right now as well, uh, I have said that, you know, we do see more sideways momentum. And um, honestly, a 61.8 retest does not shock me. But I do believe Caspa is going to be one of those projects that does outpace, um, you know, a lot of altcoins because it does have a lot going for itself. You know, of course, the hype factor, layer one, a smart contracts launching, a bigger exchange potentially coming, which it's not even listed on any of the big exchanges as of now, arguably. So, you know, a lot for itself in terms of good things that could happen if you want to speculate from that point of view. Um, but let's take it one step at a time. It has uh, proven a lot of people wrong, believe it or not, even though, uh, you know, it hasn't reached a dollar, which everyone tends to speak about, but it has had um, a heck of a rally. And I want you guys to um, just take a look at it from your own uh, eyes right now for yourself. Where is Casper? Casper, uh, Casper. There you go. 630% over the last one year. And even these numbers are a little behind. If you know, you know. But that is it for today's update. Let me know down below what you guys think. Do you guys agree with this overall take? Do you guys disagree? Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, we'll see you tomorrow. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.